Our top story at six, a Schedule One drug that is currently in the same class as heroin will potentially be rescheduled to a controlled dangerous substance. NBC 10's Maya Holloway is live in the studio and has those details. Maya. That's right, Jaden. In August, the Food and Drug Administration will vote to either veto or approve moving forward with rescheduling, rescheduling ecstasy from a Schedule 1 drug to a Schedule 2 controlled dangerous substance, which will allow health care providers to prescribe the drug to patients suffering with PTSD and other mental illnesses. What's happening right now this summer is that MDMA, which is under the psychedelic umbrella, is being looked at by the FDA for approval, specifically for post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, this week, uh, an FDA advisory panel reviewed the information and they voted no. That does not mean that the FDA, when they meet in August, will necessarily vote no for that. Many residents might be curious of how they may be prescribed the drug. Nurse Brooks explains the possibility of availability if approved. I think some of those like specific details are still up in the air and we yeah. don't really know. Um, it might be that only specific pharmacies are able to provide it. Those are some of the details we don't really know yet. but there will be a uh, strategy put in place by the FDA that it would only be able to be prescribed under certain conditions. Obviously, there would have to be not just a prescriber involved, but a therapist involved as well. And I don't think it's, it would be where if we give you a prescription, you can just go to the pharmacy and get MDMA. It's probably going to be where the medication would be come to the clinic and you would come to the clinic and have your sessions. You wouldn't necessarily just get a prescription of MDMA and keep it with you because obviously that would open up to a lot more abuse. Brooks explains why the drug could be of use to those suffering from PTSD and other mental illnesses and why it is being put up for a vote. It would be an option for people who have tried three and four and five different antidepressants and they've been in therapy for years and they just can't quite make those breakthroughs. That's where the psychedelics come in, and they really can be life-changing for people who are doing the work, who are doing this in a therapeutic way. Like any other controlled substance, the drug must be handled with care when prescribed. There must be a plan in place for this to be done in a therapeutic way. You know, as part of it being controlled, obviously, that goes into a database. And so that's a database that we check every time we prescribe a controlled substance. And those are regular conversations that would be had about, is this actually helping you therapeutically? Are you actually getting better? And if not, we would not want to continue prescribing something that's not being effective. The, the Psychopharmacologic Drug Advisory voted against the drug this week in a meeting after reviewing its safety and efficiency. The approval of the drug now lies in the hands of the Food and Drug Administration. Reporting live in the studio for your Arklamas News Source, I'm Maya Holloway. Jaden.